Hey folks, what's going on? It's another beautiful day in the arcade. Now, today is that setup, the most beautiful of things, and I don't know if you guys are even here to watch, but guess what? We're going to post this on YouTube anyway. This is going to be our how-to guide on how to set up an Xbox One to PC in order to stream on Twitch, keep all of your PC emotes, interact with chat, all that crazy stuff. Yes, I've got, I'm lucky, I've got three monitors to do this. So, let's present each piece as we move along. As always, you have to unpack your Xbox One before you can use it. Am I right? <laughs> we'll be using our Xbox One that we got. Um, however, let me show you guys our extension cord that we needed. Our six foot extension cord. Okay. I, like an idiot, did not check the female end. Here's your male end, standard. You know, two prong, got your ground. I didn't check this end. They're th all three prongs, even the ground. I screwed up. So, I'm going to be using an unfortunate thing here. Uh, two or three a, a, you know, power strips to at least get the length for our splitter and our... Um, which I'm gonna call it our Xbox One to be plugged in. I have one out right now. I have two more I need to dig out. So I did a lot of cleaning and arranging around our PC to have the room, and I didn't even realize I just unpacked that extension cord today. I've had it for like a month, so no returning that one. Good thing that buy was less than five bucks. I spent like four, like like two or three bucks on it in shipping. Shipping was like two bucks. So yeah, I spent like under, I still spent under ten dollars. Then you have to have this monster here. This is our splitter. As you can see, you have two lines going out. Two HDMI lines. What we need that for? Because no one wants to get on the Xbox One and play Grand Theft Auto with a one or two second delay. No one, ever. Uh, you don't want to play your other games as well with that delay on input. So you kind of have to mind read your system if you're going to do that. Uh, instead, you're going to use this splitter here. And yes, it requires its own power to be working. Because you're going to send out not only to your screen that you're playing on. I have a TV monitor I'm going to be using. Uh, that's actually one of our little 20, it's a 22 inch, 22, 23 inch uh, flat screen. It's some generic brand with a little W and a circle. Kind of looks like a crown. But, you know, whatever. 
and I'll be capturing on the PC through this bad boy here. An Elgato Gaming Capture HD card. Essentially, we have, you know, the basic stuff here, tech specs. Um, but essentially, I can take the console and hook it up to my PC and create YouTube videos or create streams, live streams with you guys and such like that. Uh, I wanted to showcase how to hook all this up because folks are like, Oh, dude, you can stream off your Xbox One. That's not a big deal. Um, I'm, a I'm essentially a full-time streamer. My live interaction with you guys, I need my webcam. I need my computer monitor so I can read chat. I need to have my alert system up and flashing on the screen when you guys follow, donate, uh, all that good stuff. And then not only that, but... You guys want to play with our soundboard while we're still playing games like we normally would on the PC? We've got that. You know, exclamation soundboard or sound list to play, see what all sounds you can play with. Yo, what up, 0704? How are you, my friend? And folks, this is great. The only downside is I may have a little bit of a, a delay or time difference between my webcam and the gameplay and I will actually be creating an OBS this is where I can talk with you guys uh, I'll just be creating a basic screen with twitch chat or twitch alerts overlay uh, for the games essentially I'll be showing you guys how to do this stuff and we're going to be setting up, and I'll need your help on the delay. We're going to try and fix that, okay? That's if there is one. I've never set up this capture card. I've had it for about six months, and I've not even tried. I, I've been curious. Oh, and this works on the Wii U as well. Sweet. Perfect. We're hoping to get one uh, towards the end of the year. We don't know. We are moving in the fall from this apartment, hopefully, into a three-bedroom full basement or three-bedroom, a laundry room, and an attic, somewhere where I can have an office for the stream. Uh, I would love the office due to the fact that it allows me to, to have this, the stream. This is a big deal, guys. And that way we can have a green screen and all that craziness. Though folks make partnership without all of the crazy gadgets. One of our great friends proving that who made it is uh, Clam Taco. He made it without a green screen originally. And he was on and off with the green screen for a while. And one of our friends who has recently made it, uh, not Jen, she's, she's about a month old into her partnership. Congratulations, not Jen. And Ice Prime, we have watched you all last year, so congrats again, brother. Congrats again. Now let's get this set up. Let's unbox our Xbox One. I've I've not actually looked at anything. I'm I'm kind of excited. Uh, considering I did unbox a little bit to pull some stuff out, but then the wife and kids came home and I had to like throw everything back together. And then she found stuff that the kids got, and she threw it in here, too. So, let's do this. Uh, and now I'm a proud owner of an Xbox One. Look at my baby. <laughs> I'm kidding, folks. Kidding. As you can see, it's 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 not regular. I've, I've already opened this box once. So, I didn't have to cut off the little plastic things oh my god what a monster this machine that is one heck of a console <laughs> the power block friggin awesome Ooh, we came with a already like pre-packaged HDMI cord that is sweet but we got long, way, way longer HDMI cords. Um, what is this? Oh, wait, what? 
Okay, the system's power cord, or the blocks, rather. And, ooh, this is a crisp, fresh controller, isn't it? And then we also, with this, because we have a one terabyte hard drive, we ended up getting Ori and the Blind Forest. This has been on my wish list for a while. I actually cannot wait to play this game. We have the Rare Replay 30 Hit Games, which showcase a lot of old school games. But guys, guess what? Who doesn't want to play Banjo and uh, Banjo and Tui, Banjo and Kazooie, uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day? I wouldn't mind uh, essentially speedrunning these games. Then we have the Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Includes access to Gears of War 4 beta. Is there a Gears of War 4? Isn't that already out? Or is that like something brand new? I could be wrong. I could still be wrong. Okay. Let me put this controller to the side. And here we go, folks. Live right here for the first time. We are uh, attempting, attempting to set this up. The only downfall would be not being able to reach our Xbox One. <sighs> On top of our desk here. Granted, I could run it off to the side. I really, I, I think I really could get away with it and hook up to a monitor right here on the, on the right side that I could play on and showcase the game to you guys. Uh, I, would I would not have a problem with it. I just hope that we can make something work today while we wait on our new extension cord that we just bought. It's a uh, Roseville extension cord. It was like $16 on Newegg. Uh, Newegg, if you guys are watching... I hope uh, that the product comes in. It works on the first try. You guys have been phenomenal with that stuff. So, yes, as you guys can see, I love me some new egg. What up, Sean Hoadley? How's it going, Game Key? I am doing great, my friend. We are unboxing our Xbox One uh, everything and trying to set it up. Quick question, bro. Can an OSD streamer play their own music? Uh, blight me. Yeah, they they can. Uh, you can play whatever you want, uh, essentially, Blight me. Um, that's, you know, they're not going to they're not going to censor you in any given way at all, except for maybe, you know, don't badmouth the charity, you know, that craziness, uh, which I I wouldn't uh, I love I, I love OSD and Stack Up. Those like they're amazing charity organizations geared towards uh, supporting veterans and veteran streamers and all of that craziness. So uh, he's streaming for O. Who's streaming for OSD? Uh, bro, can an OSD streamer play their own music? He's streaming for OSD right now. He was wondering, it shouldn't matter um, if, like, here's the thing. If you're just streaming on Twitch, yeah, fine, go for it. If you're going to put it to YouTube, that's when you've got to consider if you're going to use music or not. If you're, if you're putting it to, like, YouTube and stuff like that, that's when you think about it. But if you're streaming for OSD... Uh, I don't think it matters. Just have it light in the background. Don't have it overpower the stream. No worries. Uh, might I ask who it is? Probably support them in uh, some fashion at somehow. Okay, I'll let them know. All right, bro, not a problem. Wow, this is a huge cord. Um, this block, unfortunately, is going to have to sit up top as well. So I hope, I hope we can reach... Uh, the top of our computer case, or uh, computer case, our desk here. Wow, that is super long. That is like three feet just just from the block to the console. That's that's crazy. 
crazy, folks. Let's see. <sighs> Homer, dude, what's up? Well, the only thing is you can play music on Twitch. The only thing that will happen is the VOD sound will be disabled from what I experienced. Yeah, if you're doing a live stream and you're not caring, you don't care about your VODs, you don't care about transferring to YouTube and stuff, you don't have to worry about that. That's the point I was getting across, Homer. Uh, because you can always, you know, watch the stream live. Ooh, where is my, my, my little, my duster rag? I love this thing. I have a screen doctor professional. It's essentially um, this nice little fluffy rag. And this solution right here, it's ionized water. No, this is ionized water. I have free refills for life. So, woo! It looks so crazy in this bottle right now. It's weird. It just looks so crazy in the bottom. Because it's uh, we've used it for so much stuff. But I'm just, I'm essentially just pulling the stuff right off like a... Uh, little static, things like that. Hey, camera, get in the focus. There we go. Uh, okay, my hand was in the way. Got it, got it. This, put that plug there. Let's pull out these two extension core, these two splitters, and put them onto the third one and see if we can get away with cheating today. We want to cheat to... Uh, get that length that we need um i've i have had to put this off you know for one week or another two weeks uh two weeks straight guys oh shut up weights all right i've never set up my xbox ever so i don't i i don't know uh what to expect i had to get a hold of microsoft to even get a new password and stuff like that. I haven't been on there in so long. Uh, what do you have? Yes, this is an Xbox One. There we go. Took off the dust. We just might get away with it, folks. I am trying to get as much length out of this is possible the downside I'm using three yes count them three power strips to get the length so let's hope we don't you know blow a breaker uh, currently what games I have I have uh, electronic super joy which we're gonna showcase and Qbert rebooted thanks to our friends at loot interactive Check them out, guys. Uh, they are doing work with Microsoft to get a lot of games uh, showcased and jump-started as well. So they are a really good company, and Electronic Superjoy is awesome. What up, Hardstyle, babe? How you been? Uh, I also have what came with my Xbox, Ori and the Blind Forest, which I am really excited to play. Uh, Gears of War... What, unlimited? Oh, Ultimate Edition. Sorry. And then the Rare Replay. 30 hit games. Uh, 30 classics. Damn! Your beard! Yeah, hard style, babe. <laughs> so, as you can see, we've been cleaning around, so things look really nice behind us as well. Um... Basically, not a whole lot got done except for really, really cleaning up the living room and trying to make things look good for when the wife comes home and the kids tonight. I wanted to showcase how to set up the Xbox One! So here we are. All right, 20-ish minutes in already. Let's uh, get things plugged in and trying to go. We, we need to see if we have the distance. If we have the distance between all three of these power strips right here, then yeah, we can do this as long as we don't blow a breaker. If not, 
and I say this lightly, if not, then we should be able to showcase this within the next couple of days. I've already ordered uh, the proper extension cord I needed. Uh, it, that had the right female on end on it, so I could plug in one of these folks, one of these power strips, you know, two prongs and a ground, to have up there on top of our desk to have everything plugged in right away. Um, this is one of those days. We are trying. We are going to test. We're experimenting. So let's plug some stuff in. I got to move a box. Uh, to let folks know, I am using an APC unit. Uh, it is essentially a battery backup for uh, a voltage regulation. So that way I wouldn't have to worry about uh, surge, uh, low surge, like low power surges and high power surges going into my PC. Instead, this battery backup would give a regular energy uh, electrical flow to my PC and other devices plugged into it without any problems. So here's one. Haha, ha, I think we can get away with it. And we make it. Without really too many issues, I'm just a little worried. That's all. I, being a gamer, I'm worried about my devices and how to keep things up properly on this desk so we do have tape I'm going to tape one to the side of the desk just one guys that's cool does it cover lightning strikes uh, the APC unit I have a 1200 watt one 1200 watts is what its battery uh, backs up for uh, we don't even use that in our desktop PC. We use about seven or 800 watts with all of our equipment. Um, it's, it literally has a warranty on it that if it fails, lifetime warranty by the manufacturers up to $500,000. That's some pretty heavy duty stuff there. Um, we essentially have like three or four grand in equipment I'd say I'd say about three uh, considering our new audio stuff hasn't come in yet somewhere around three we got our three monitors our our desktop alone is uh, somewhere in the ballpark of twenty eight hundred dollars with all the equipment in it and the upgrades we've done um, tape Where's the end? There you are. You know, one of those little things. Oh, no! We just got a sliver of the tape. We want the whole thing. We're just going to tape one to the side of the desk, and then I'll clean it later when we have the really good extension cord. So, yes, guys. Sorry about this being so loud. I need uh, scissors and skizzer things. Don't run with these ladies and gentlemen. Don't run with them. Or do. You know. <sighs> to each their own, I guess. <laughs> uh, are you happy that you have an Xbox One? I am 0704. To the extent of, you know, what uh, do I do? Like, for streaming. And then... Uh, a lot of my titles have moved on to the next-gen systems already. Um, I'm already alone. This summer, 
when Persona 5 comes out, that's it. You guys will never see me. I'll just be playing an RPG by myself on Twitch, and you guys are here or not. I'm, I'm going to be playing Persona 5. Like, that. that's it. You guys won't see me anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm so stoked about Persona 5. It's, it's by far the next gen of, of the series, and I can't wait to play. Can't, whoa, almost hit myself in the face. That ain't good. Not good. Oh, come on, tape. Don't, don't. Don't, no, don't do it. Don't crumple up on me, no. <sighs> wow, is it really because it's that heavy? There. It cannot be because of that. Cannot be. That is insane. That is nuts. Damn. Okay. Welcome to the new gen. I know, right? I'm I'm ex so excited. So excited about having a next gen system. Finally. Um sorry if we take a couple of tries trying to do this. It's one of those things, folks. We are trying something new. I've never done some of this stuff before. And I've got to make little improvise improvises for the moment. There's that little bit. Put more tape down. Let me grab. Don't run with them! Them skizzers! Don't run with them! No, no, don't. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That tape, that tape sound. So sorry, folks. Oh, dang it. I dropped the tape. Okay. Let's just try because we're going to have stuff plugged in up top. Let's uh, get our splitter up there. I'm plugged in. Oh, I might have wanted it just... Oh, dang it. The part where I didn't give myself enough room. I know the next one will be a lot easier to have. All right, so we're going to plug this in like so. 
and this will just hang here for a minute. Let's get our Xbox up there. Hey, pretty girl. Woo! I don't know what that uh, USB port's for, but okay. Guys, let me know about some of this stuff. Because I've literally never done this. Never done it. Plug in there. Brick, where'd I set you? There you are. Plug you in. All right, we're getting power. It's orange. We are getting power. We know this now. All right, we'll run the cords behind and set it off to the side there. It's kind of neat. All right, we'll plug in here or the other way. Yep, Xbox symbol up, as always. Let's get our Elgato uh, capture card out. It, this has to be plugged in as well. This is one of those things. The Elgato HD capture card has to be plugged in. Has to be. So let's pull this baby out of the box. I think I've done this maybe one other time. Um... Okay, we're going to learn right now what all these wires are for. <laughs> I'm sorry for the I don't know what I'm doing guide for this, but it's something we got to do. Ooh, is this a dummy guide on how to get started? Open this access, the quick start guide. Please refer to the setup instructions for PlayStation and Xbox. Okay. HDMI out. Oh, there's like a little card. A little card here. That came inside, and it's got instructions on it. Sweet! We're following that now. And look at this thing. It's, it's, it's literally no bigger than a wallet. Let me, let me show you guys. Look at that. Elgato Game Capture HD. Press play! <sighs> okay. We have the splitter. This is going to get plugged into our console. Out to HDTV, obviously. So we plugged in our splitter. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess you can't tell if this is on or not. So, you know, you have your, your power here. You have the cord that this is attached to, this whole block, uh, which is the HDMI cord. You're going to plug that into the back of the PS, uh, or the Xbox. Or if you're using a PS4, the same thing, you're going to plug that uh, accessory in first. Um, let's see, what is this? Um, download the latest game capture software. Oh, crap. So I have to, uh, actually install this to my PC as well. Holy crap. Um, I'm going to guess this is for HDTV and left and right ports. I really, really hope I don't exactly need these. Um, oh, I see. I'll use this or HDMI in. Got it. Got it. All right. So... Let's see. Oh, we've got 
One. Oh, we got a mini USB here. The guy. Hey, oh, what's up? I have PS4. Nice. I also have one. So what's going on over here? What up, Bear Rippers, my friend? Uh, we have Xbox One to PC setup. We're going to put this back in the bag. We do not need these jacks. I am quite fortunate enough to have HDMI outputs only across everything. So we'll put the stuff we don't need into the much, much bigger bag. And uh, we'll save it all. This is the mini USB. Let me look at the other side. Ah, HDMI out. Oh, wait a minute. I might need the mini USB for the PC. Connect your TV to the HDMI out port with the Elgato Game Capture HD using the supplied HDMI. Can connect Elgato Game Capture HD to your Mac or PC using the supplied USB cable. That's what this mini is for. Got to take the mini out. Here we go, ladies and gents. Here we freaking go. And we may be... Uh, which one? That's our webcam. What the hell's... Oh! We have to plug into, I think, a USB 3.0. Uh, we'll find out ASAP, though. We will find out, like, ASAP. Because if that's the case, I can just plug my keyboard into the back of my PC. I've got way too many HDMI, or USB 3.0s. That's it. As such, give it a little wiggle. Make sure it gets in there. Okay. We have this, uh like AVI to HDMI that we do not need. We're going to plug that back in or put it back in here with the other cable, the AVI jacks that we don't need. Those are going to sit off to the side and let's break out some HDMI cables. Yeah. So here we go. Everything coming already packaged, we're going to take uh, our HDMI cable from our TV over there. The wife can just suck it for tonight. Sorry. She can deal with that for tonight until the stream is over. I mean, it's not like we hook up our laptops to the TV 24-7 anyway. All right. As always, you're going to have to HDMI in. You're going to have to HDMI in. Okay. To the Elgato. Do I need to HDMI out to anything? Uh, it says connect to my TV. But do I really need to? I mean, I'm just going to be like this, and everything's going to work on one port or the other. Let me grab my other HDMI cord, ladies and gents. I have it just right over here. And here's what's crazy. Here's the bag I have full of PC cords, cables, controllers, all sorts of goodies. So, you know... As always, when we get around to it, we have a USB Nintendo 64 controller for some 64 games. Super Nintendo! What? As you guys see, I am a fan, fan of some retro games. I even went as far as to get me a retro Sega to USB six-button controller. Uh, I've been dying to use some of these. Oh, correction! We have our six-foot cord. What the hell's that other cord for? I have no clue. Damn! Well, let's see this. When we move in the fall, that 
really long extension cord that I just bought is going to be extremely worth it. It's 25 feet. So that means even if we end up in a room with only one outlet, guess what? We can be okay. So holy cow. Let's save ourselves some of this trouble right now. Oh my god. I didn't realize this is what I did with that cord. This is what I did with it. Oh my goodness. I'm so friggin' happy right now. Happy. 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 Because that means I could take the stress off of all these power strips and just plug in one thing. And I can't wait. There we go. Ladies and gents, so much for needing tape. I didn't need it. So we save ourselves some trouble here. We don't need these. Granted, this will be up and running. And if you folks want to fly through it on YouTube, go for it. Uh, where's my... Spare HDMI. Is this it? Yes, this is the spare HDMI. As you can see, I've not even opened this yet. So, bag there. Rip open this one. Thank God, because daisy chaining power strips can blow up everything. Yeah, Homer, I know. Basically, you can't have multiple power strips plugged in. You should never do it, except for maybe... They're all surge protection, so that's great. But essentially, you're asking a lot out of those power strips because they take up, you know, maybe 10 watts here and there, maybe less than that. But yeah, my life depends on power strips. So does mine. All right, out to number two. That's going to be plugged in here, and ran behind everything over to our TV monitor. I might have to run all of my alerts to uh, a separate monitor, which we'll find out real quick what we got to do. Let's see. Oh, wait. Wow. We only have one HDMI cable? Wow, okay. So, that's it. That settles it. I actually have to run over to my backup monitor anyway. Because there's only one HDMI cord on the television. I never knew that. So, here we are. Here we are. And I'm okay with this, folks. I am okay with it. Uh-oh. Just drop our Elgato uh, by the cord. Let's uh, unplug everything as well. We're going to plug in our Elgato and download the software right now. Uh, do you now Black Ops? Do you know Black Ops Three? Yeah, I know it's out. I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not real big on them, I guess. Like, I have Modern Warfare 3 that came with my PS2 when I bought it off of a co-worker. When I worked in the factory, uh, I worked in a machine shop for a while. And he didn't want the system anymore because he was tied on money. So, I opted to buy it from him because he was like, well, I've got the next gen. And eventually, they're going to go backwards compatible. So... I don't need a PS3 anymore. At least that was his belief then. Backwards compatibility. Huh. Only Xbox. Only Xbox. Alright, so we're going to plug this in right now in a USB 3 port and install the Elgato gaming software. Uh, granted, I'm going to have to redo all of this setup when I switch to my SSD 
and my 8 terabit uh, hard drive that I'll be installing uh, potentially over the weekend. We're going to try. I think I have everything, but I could very well be wrong. And I hope that's not the case. So we'll try that over the weekend after today. So, like so, plug the keyboard, plug in the Elgato. As always, it's like, yes! Let's grab our keyboard cord and plug it in the back. <sighs> Any of the many 3.0 ports will work just fine. Oh. Bow, bow, bow. 